the shortest of short-term deals in? Yeah, um, it is. Just happy to be back involved, though. Um, been training here for the last month, so um, and that's gone well. So just yeah, looking forward to being involved in some games now. Imagine the aim then will be to, to hopefully get something beyond. Yeah, for sure. Um, just take it one game at a time, as I've done with training. I was I was grateful the manager gave me the opportunity to come and train. Um, it was a kind of next step in my recovery from injury I had, and um, yeah, it's gone well and been enjoying every every day coming in and getting used to the boys and back playing football. So it's been good. And feel ready to go straight in now. Yeah, um, I played a little bit of a reserve game the other week um, and trainings. I could say I've been training um, for the last month probably fully now and um, yeah, it's all gone smoothly and just slowly building up. So yeah, ready to go. What was it like in the summer? I don't know how far down your recovery you were in the last season. Um, I was still in the gym and then I needed another operation um, in, in May. Um, so just all summer, just getting rehab really, um, and I spent up until October. I was still at Hearts working with a physio from previous. So um, and then as soon as I was kind of ready to go in the next step to team training, um, Derek obviously reached out, and um, yeah, been here ever since. So I've really enjoyed it. So he gave you the call, is that? Yeah, I'd been speaking probably from before um, with my agent and stuff. Um, kind of knew my situation and um, yeah it was obviously once I'd kind of ticked the boxes I needed to do with the physio um, the next step was team training and um, yeah he gave me the opportunity to come down here and just continue that kind of progress in the rehab and um, yeah we're here now so happy. Do you think you'll be looking to repay that kind of faith in you? Yeah definitely, um, games is what you, you want to you want to be involved in and um, training has been great it's been um, you know feel strong feel good completely over my injury I had which is you know the first and foremost positive thing and yeah games is there's a lot of games and if I can contribute at all I'll be happy to do so. Is it a bit of worry there for you Gary? Um, from the injury um, yeah there was definitely times where I thought it was it was kind of a challenging injury to get over I um, took a little bit of time but just tried to be patient and um, you know, do everything I could in the gym and stuff, and I'm happy for the the hearts physio he's done looking after me, and you know, continuing my kind of program over the summer. I, it was important for me to to kind of have that period where um, I was still you know struggling with it. So um, grateful to him too, and yeah, but hope thankfully I'm in a good place now. You feel as well. That's what these next couple of weeks are about. Are just proving that you're ready to go and play. Yeah, for sure. I think the training was the first thing, you know, um, that was an, another big step. I hadn't done that in over a year and um, yeah, it's just been slow build up, but um, everything's going well day to day, getting stronger and stronger. And and now the games, um, they're coming and that's the next step. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited for that. Feels like you've got something that you could offer for Yeah, for sure. Um, I've like really enjoyed training with the boys a great group here uh, a lot of talent in the squad and yeah if I can contribute at all you know I'll be happy to do so you were in that situation earlier in your career weren't you when you had that injury you know you went you know, probably further out of it than you were recently is that is that did you draw on that when you're coming back from this yeah um yeah it was a long time ago um but yeah I've obviously maybe it helped having that previous ex experience of you know footballs you can be up you can be down injuries can happen and you know at, at times it's not great um so yeah it was obviously um challenging again at times not knowing um whether you could recover from it or get back to the level you wanted to or stuff like this but um yeah just you keep keep positive as much as you can and be patient and um, yeah I feel I'm, I'm in a good place again. What, what, what are the kind of main things did you do to help that process of, of maintaining that belief and help you through the adapter? Um, a good teammates always around, I was had good teammates at heart so um, you know always had posit positivity around me, my family's um, got a great support there and yeah, just just always having that belief, you know, if you're 
you work hard, you do the right things, you know, it might take some time, a little bit longer than you'd hope for at times, but um, if you do all the right things, you know, you'll you'll get rewards for it. And um, I feel now I'm in that place where I'm over it and, you know, it's it's all about kicking on now again. A foot injury, is that right? Yeah, yeah, a foot injury. Other than the manager, what were the main selling points of Kilmarnock? Uh, it's a club that's on the rise, um, year on year it's done really well, the last few years, um, obviously this year's great results against Old Farm and other big results, just the other night there, um, big result up at Pataudry, so it's a good good feeling around the place, um, I know that from training, the short time I've been here, um, it's, it's a great place to come and do your work and uh, yeah, I'm just delighted to, to kind of be part of the squad now.